Good evening, everyone. It is a similar plot playing out in communities all across the mid state. Developers looking to put housing in areas where neighbors are used to seeing farmland and fields. News Channel 5's Alexander Cohen talked with one farmer who's fighting back as he wants his on the rise community to stay the same. Locals love Boyd's pumpkin patch and the corn maze at this family farm. This is what I love to do. I love to farm. For decades, the Sango community has remained the same until now. Developers want to build a large scale apartment complex here on what used to be a massive cornfield. Many folks in this community don't want that to happen. We're going to have a very crowded environment here, which we've not had. Several months ago, this Highway 76 property by I-24 was annexed. When it was county land, plans to develop it fell through after hundreds of people signed a petition. Asking mama didn't work, so then they ran to daddy and asked the city to be annexed, which would allow them to build apartments on some of the property. As they wait to find out if the city will approve the developer's plan, neighbors feel they have no control over the situation. We can't vote those city council people in or out of office. The people who are disaffected by this are in the county and they don't have any voice in this. As the housing boom expands outside of Nashville, this local farmer fears change is inevitable. We're accustomed here to having single family homes and farms and there aren't any apartments existing on this side of the interstate and suddenly we're going to have just an onslaught of a tremendous number of apartments and traffic associated with that and just a complete uh, dramatic change. Next Wednesday, the Planning Commission will vote on rezoning the land, which would pave the way for development. Then it will head to the Clarksville City Council for a vote. Reporting in Montgomery County, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. Thanks, Alexandra. We did reach out to the developer behind Bristol Ridge Apartments, LLC. We have not yet heard back.